Marcus Savage here and welcome to my channel. Loads of videos for you to watch. Today's video is a continuation of my very nice Dodge Ram. A couple of videos already on my channel, please check them out. Today we're on the way to Chelmsford to Graphic Wraps. Chris is the owner and we are going to put in some very nice decals on my Dodge Ram. Now, a lot of you have watched my previous videos, you know it had Rumblebee on the back, and it was fake basically. I know 2004 and 5 they brought out the swarms and so on, gone through that already. Now I've taken that off, um, that took a little bit of hair drying getting it off, and I petroled it afterwards, and now I've washed the motor in ordinary chemicals, not like the good quality ones, because I want it as the, the bare paintwork as possible. You don't want to be putting any uh, graphics or stickers or anything else on polished stuff because it'll just come back off again. And I'm sure when we get there, we'll be probably be cleaning it as well. Now, Chris, top guy to be honest with you. Um, it was nice. I contacted a few other um, vinyl people and they seemed to be too busy, didn't really show the passion that Chris did. Popped in his local little shop in Chelmsford. Um, we had a nice little chat. And within an hour of me sending him some pictures of my motor, we'd come up with and he'd sent me already, putting them on there, I think you can see that, you know? Um, that was just a quick discussion. And he took the time to do that and send it to me, was that what I roughly wanted? I was really impressed with that. Popped back and said, you know what, that looks really good. Come with the colour, um, which one to use. Now I've used wet um, vinyls before, decals, where if you watch a mini one on my channel where you spray water on and you peel them off and you rub it all out and you get the bubbles and water and you go down. He said to me, Mark, you know, that, that's good, but we've got the new stuff now that's got like little micro air bubbles, I guess, that when you put it on, you can squeeze them straight out. It does a much better job. It's easy controllable. Me, I'm thinking once it's on, you're buggered. But this stuff isn't like that, which hopefully you're going to get to see later on in the video. So I said, right, let's go for it. He said, well, come down and we can do this together. That's really, really great. Now, I'm not saying that everybody wants to do that, but I am saying that a guy that takes that little bit extra time to say to you, what do you want? And have the opinion to help, you know, rather than saying, like, I want it, I don't know, savage it all over it, and then say, like, I can do it, but it won't look brilliant. That, that to me, means someone who's passionate about their job, and let's say, when we get there today, and you watch just this video, you can see that, because I felt that from him, and let's see what it goes like today. So, stay with me. Yeah, I'm going to start the video, basically, inside, and start showing you what's preparation, how did you cut the decals out, the, all the other bits and bobs and then the end product which I think everybody really wants to see and I should be very happy so meet me at the shop I said there's a link in the description of his website say Mark sent you and you want some great decals to do I mean I, you don't have to get them done in the shop I'm pretty sure he could probably get them and send them to you I mean discuss it with him he's a great guy right let's get on with it and again this is where the magic happens there's the word ran and we start getting the logo outside and the ram inside. It's all we picked off first. So that's the bonnet, that's the boot bit, and these two sides that did have the rumblebee on it, they're now gonna have this ram logo. Don't realise how much waste there is. How much actually has to go in when you uh, buy them off eBay and it comes there. You don't realise how much work actually goes into this. But it does look good and it's got to have a sheet on top and then we start the work of putting it on the motor. But, there we go. It's educational, this is, because at the end of the day, as I said earlier, you don't realise how much wastage there is and how much work goes into you getting your decals through the door, or decals. And watching it, it's actually an eye-opener. I've just said to the, to the chat there, Chris, it is actually quite interesting to watch this being done. And there's a lot of skill to it. Cutting it all out, making sure it's all flat, no bubbles for you to then you know, get it on your motor. But this, oh, I do like that ram's head. It's gonna end up on the bonnet. We'll end up on here. So, keep watching, and we'll see the rest of this being done. Yeah. Is this what I'm used to getting? I'm gonna go round this. When I was taking the old decals off, I actually noticed it was underneath. I'd like to go around it. I've got to get these off and tart them up anyway. And there's a lot of TLC got to be done with this. Uh, I've got the mask. Oh, as well. 
He does. There's always going to be some problems <laughs> when you've got a big motor, which is you need steps and little hop-ups to get up to it. So we both looked at each other because we're both short asses thinking, well, how are we going to get up there? Stand on the wheels, get some little pop-ups. So we've got to line it up because you can't just slap them down the middle. Cleaning the paintwork now. I did wash it and then I've washed it again without any chemicals on it because you can't have them on there. You can't polish it and put them on. They'll come straight back off again. So we're using a cleaning product now that will take anything, any bits of detritus, dirt or anything underneath there and make sure it sticks when it goes on. Now unlike the stuff I've used before, which we spoke about, I've used the one that you can put water on, you place it on and you squidge all the water out. This is not the same stuff, this is the dry stuff. And this is what worried me slightly. Um, with the peds, you put it on and wherever it is, it stays. This stuff you can move and get it right. You put lining tape down, line it all up, should do really, really well, should look really good. Yeah. Like everything, it's the prep. If you didn't get all this clean, and if I was doing this outside, flies, road dirt, everything else outside my house. So really handy having, well, using his premises to get this on with. Getting excited. Now this is surface cleaner. Me, I would have thought it would be fine as it is, but this is going on now to really, really clean the surface to make sure that them decals, decals, let's call them decals, all right, I'm sad themed. <laughs> that adheres perfectly, goes on there, and stays on there. Assuming where I've put them on before and it comes off and you jet wash it, comes off again, this isn't gonna do that. Use the right stuff for the right job. Let's say the job is in the detail. It's lining up from the water jet to the other side of the water jet, 61, 61, bang on, and in the front. Me, I'd have probably slept on there, be two mil out, and it annoyed me for the rest of my life. Chris ain't letting that happen. Measuring it, moving it, measuring it, taping it. So, managed to get all the little bubbles and tiny micro bubbles out. Micro bubbles. And here is the reveal. So we've left that bit on, or the cut there, but he's saying leave it on until we take the top bit off. Nicely lined it up. Sometimes it's best not to talk and just look. That is a lovely yellow. And this uh, Patriot Blue. I do like the attention to detail, I must admit. It makes me, uh, when I did my motor, seem a little bit more tackier. <laughs> I just sort of put it all off, but it's starting to uh, nicely reveal, isn't it? You want to that? You right? So I cut out bits I don't want, don't worry. Ooh. There's not any bubbles in there, is there? There was one in there, but I just took it out. Oh yeah. I see little tiny bits, but they just come out, don't they? And the ram appears. So, you look just there. Yep, see just there, look. Can. Yeah? What's that? That's air bubbles. It's gone, that. 
through any little bubbles that seem to be under the actual vinyl. Just a little rub, and they seem to come out, which I don't think would have happened with the wet. You'd have to keep scooching out with the water. Come on, look at that. Oh, another cup of tea. This has been a bit of a bugger. Getting around here. Now, we did look at taking it off. There's two locating lugs and then getting it off. I didn't want to do that. So I wanted to actually go around it. I would have probably done this terribly because I would have slipped around here and you end up with a little bit of blue. So it's taking a lot of time on, off, on, off, on, off. This material has lines and then a tiny little bit of a heat gun. And it comes off and all the lines and little creases that would have really have pissed me off just come out of it, just completely go. So it shows a bit more professionalism than I would have done because I would have probably had the crease or I'd have slit out here and then I would have just pushed it down the line. He doesn't want that. It really put some effort into it and then this will obviously just lie around here. When he's doing it though, again, I'd have probably lined it. He pushes into it and then come along here. So it wraps it nicely. It makes a real difference when someone's doing something properly. And then we go out here, push these down. But it's coming along now, here. Uh, we are debating whether to put Savage <laughs> or Hemi. I don't know, I don't know. You will have to wait and see, but I'm liking this. I am liking it. After that one, down the sides, they should be relatively easy. And along the bottom bit, which is to hide my bad bit. This may take a lot of messing around because of the shape. You've got this little sway line here and you've got this line here and, and then the line across the doors. This may take some time. We will have to see. That squeaking. So the back. As I said, we're debating what to put across here. And the side. And the bonnet. So let's start from the back to this very nice line. This took a lot actually, that old sway line. We've got dodge in there as well. So dodge ram to the side. Over this lovely large bonnet. Back down again. Can you believe it? A plane. Again, dodge symbol there we put at the front. Dodge. Very nice ram. And then the back, you know the wife had to get involved and she didn't want or didn't think Hemi or Savage or anything else looked, so just the line. Put your comments below. So, I am ecstatic. It's been great working with Chris. And it is graphic wraps here in Chelmsford. It's done a very, very nice job. And this is how yummy it now looks, sitting on my drive. What a lovely job from the rear. I do like the dodge bit. I did that twice. Put them on, took them off, put them on again. What do you think? What have we learned? That not all these vinyl wraps are the same. And when you do order some decals, decals from your supplier and you know some of these cheap tacky ones turn up, <laughs> you realise that there are some real good guys out there. And you also have to think that what you get, imagine all the waste, I was quite surprised how much waste goes on there. And it is quite a skill. So now I can say I've done wet and dry. <laughs> but Chris, thank you so much for that, great guy. There's a link in the description of his website, you want to contact him, say Mark sent ya. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Um, it's just what I wanted, um, the dodge bit on the doors as well, we didn't cut that out, that's actually another decal over the top of that, which really looks good. And just proves that, you know, we got it wrong the first time putting that there, you know, you, we took it off and we put it on there again. I think that's, that's the biggest hint, I think, I can say to anybody, if you are getting involved in it, you know, do let the person, I don't mean, you know, just say I want decals 
uh, or decals and I want them all done, thank you. You know, have something in your head, but prepared to chat about it, talk about it, work out what's best for you, what can be done, what will look good. Now, I may put a single stripe 20mm above the large one on the bottom of the doors to marry up with the other two stripes. That's something, again, that we can pop back and I can get, you know, put on there easy enough or do it myself. The way we worked yesterday was, it was um, more of a learning curve for me, I suppose, of how to work with this stuff and getting up and down. That's what really scared me. And, you know, putting some heat to it in certain places, that's the skill. Um, I did the sides, which was the old way of, you know, once you've got it set, and that, that really, really is the big thing, setting it up. You know, because if you're off like a mill here, by the time you get down the bottom, it's five or ten minutes, it will look really rubbish. And again, that's what I liked about his dedication yesterday. You know, he didn't like it, moved it, moved it. Spent a long time trying to work out where he was, and then it looked, it looked great, you know. We were going to take the badge off the back, but that's a big old badge, and I think that would have really not gone well. So it made sense leaving it on there. Did take a bit of getting used to cutting it round. Job done. There's no bubbles. Really, really good. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. That is the what the fourth one now. Uh, I've got a couple more coming up. I've got to get a bike. Now, my garage is empty. <laughs> CBR has gone. Um, that's a shame really. I'm not going to be really riding until September. So I am looking or on the lookout for another bike now. I'm not going to get a sports bike. I may get another Tiger or Adventure style bike, but I don't want to be paying loads of money. So the next video coming very soon will be a motorbike, will be a v vlog, riding log of it, and uh, yeah, back to the bikes again. Um, I've got a big old change to do. Again, talking about a cellar, in here is a massive sump, and here is the gasket with all the bits on. Yeah, that's going to be a big job. I've looked under there, that's a really big job. So it'll be oil change, um, oil filter, sump change as well. Um, yeah, that's going to be a big bloody job and a long video. But again, that'll be in a little while. I'm not rushing to do that. I've done the underneath of the Dodge. and now I've done the decals. <laughs> I've done the inside. Um, polishing and cleaning. Um, we've done a little service. Um, done the exhaust as well. So it's really coming along. I've got to touch up the paint now. Really get some, um, some work into that. You know, um, bit of nice... Uh, finishing with all that paintwork to make it look really nice and I'm going to quite look forward to that to be honest with you I like doing the old um... I'm going to be detailing that paintwork for inch of its life make it look really really good bond it on the outside and use all the coats that you normally use my arms will probably fall off going round and round and round and round dogs barking so there we go please like share and subscribe 400 over 480 videos of all sorts on there um, links around the outside take care of yourselves on the road thank you so much for watching Bye bye. Cabbage here and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is about my nice Dodge Ram 5.7 V8 Hemi. What are we doing today? Well, we are on our way to Chelmsford to Graphic Wraps. We're going to meet Chris today and we are going to be putting them on my motor. Um, decals. Dog always wants to get in the video as well. Come get it. Tray, Millie, who can now get up and downstairs. I live in a bungalow, come on. So, <laughs> on the way, a, a link to his website will be on the, the bottom in the description, so please check that out. That's to get in every video. Don't knock my camera over this time. Anyway, we're on our way there. We will be putting the decals on my very nice motor. I've taken the Rumble B off, and I've said many times before it wasn't a Rumble B. I know they're 2000, 2004, 2005, and to be honest with you, it was pretty tackily on there. Go away. Um, I've already taken them off. I've washed and cleaned it without many chemicals on there. I'm pretty sure we get to probably do something else to make sure they're clean. So, join me. Dog, you've just, you've just made me forget everything. <laughs>